as if there's a single person in here that doesn't know this, but let's cover it just because. Which character do you play? Uh, uh, well, I will tell you the exact line I said uh, right after Halo 2 came out and, um, or no, after Halo 1 came out and I was uh, with some friends in Florida whose kids were playing the game and I had r really kind of forgotten about the session. We had done the session, you know, six, seven months ago and when you do these things, they come and they go and you move on to the next thing. But the kids were playing the game and they said, um, I said, I, I, you know, I think I voiced a character in this game. and. Uh, and they said, really? Who was it? And I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> I said, I don't know, but I, I, I think he was the main guy. And they said, Master Chief? I said, yeah, yeah, it was Master Chief. Within 15 minutes, there was about 40 or 50 kids outside his door <laughs> carrying Xboxes and, uh, and copies of the game. And uh, I realized that uh, I had hitched my wagon to, uh, to something that uh, was uh, I had no idea where we were going to go. So yes, in answer to your question, his name is Master Chief Spartan 117. Um, Mr. Keith David, yes. let's do the same thing for you. Which character do you play? I play the Arbiter. <laughs> of this gentleman for many, many years, <laughs> and, uh, and he would, uh, I think I would uh, not be overstating it to say that he is my voiceover hero, in addition to, uh, to the many uh, screen projects that he's been involved in over the years. So yes, this is the first time I've had the pleasure to meet Keith, and it is a true honor, my friend. Oh, back at you, man. So you were talking a little bit about the other opportunities that you've had and the stuff that you've done. What... What made you say yes to Halo when you had so many... Somebody offered me a job. <laughs> I mean, you know... Uh, <laughs> I, I get this question asked a lot. Did you have any idea when you were doing Halo 1 that it was going to be? And I said, not only did I not have any idea, nobody had any right. idea. Bungie had no idea. We all just were, you know, doing this thing and, and you know, obviously hoped it was going to be successful. Uh, we didn't realize it was going to be, you know, a paradigm shift. So I, I didn't, you know, they just said he's this big guy in a suit, you know, and he's badass. So, you know, <laughs> ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who didn't want to be Superman? Who didn't right. want to be Batman? Who didn't want to be a superhero? What if I, you know, what if, what, what if I was Superman? You know, what if I was Spider-Man or whatever? And, 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 you know, sort of get that in your head of what, how you played that as a, as a, eight-year-old, you know, and, and tap into that somehow to, uh, to, to, do, to do what I do for Master Chief, I suppose. And were it so easy, we would all do it. <laughs> like that. You win. <laughs> Keith, what is your experience well, with Halo fans um, versus other fans? Uh, one of the biggest things that I get is, uh, oh, oh shit, oh, 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 uh, you, 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 you're the arbiter, right? And, 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 and most of the time, that is not because I walked up to them, but I'll be, I'll be like ordering at the counter or something, and somebody will go, oh, the, the arbiter. Oh my God, I just finished playing, you, you know. Uh, so, I mean, that, and, 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 and admittedly, that's kind of fun. Uh, again, an early story, Tim Dadabo, who is the voice of Guilty Spark, uh, and, and, and an active gamer. So he was way into it from the, from the early going. And uh, I had never even discussed it with my wife. I mean, it was, it was, like I said, it was a gig. And he says to my wife, uh, Lizzie, do you ever call him Master Chief? <laughs> and she says, I'm not sure that's any of your business. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I have many things I'd like to say right now, none of which I'm actually going to say because I value my job. Um, <laughs> That's a good story. I, I like that one. I have a question for both Steve and Keith. Uh, what are your favorite Halo games? What is your what? What are your favorite Halo games? 
<laughs> the last one I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's a, that's it's a kind of a general question, uh, in in the sense in the sense that you know, like I said, we you know we're working, mm -hmm. and that's all. That's always nice, and there's always you know there's always a situation within the game that's you know sort of mm. more challenging or more you know more uh, uh, tasty than the last one but i mean each t each each time each time we get a, get to be engaged in the game it's like this is fun i mean i i can't we can't talk about Halo what's five. coming up so i can't you know i can't tell you how much fun i had there so. all right i give you something but you know then i have to kill you yeah <laughs> Keith, wait a second. Keith, I've already tried that, and it doesn't work anymore. I've said that. I, I, I'll, I, I'll tell you, but I have to kill you. And nine times out of ten, the response is, okay. <laughs> uh, we know you. Hi. <laughs> I, I have uh, two, two questions for Steve. Okay. Um, one, are you wearing your Cortana chip today? I'm sorry. It's all, I, I, your Cortana chip, are you wearing it today? I'm, I'm, it's, it's too much echo, I can't. Are you wearing oh, your Cortana, Cortana chip, chip today? Oh, what about it? Oh. <laughs> She's with me everywhere I go, so. <laughs> and um, do you have a favorite Master Chief quote? And do I have? A favorite Master Chief quote. Well, um... Oh my gosh, you have to say it in character, in your voice. Please. Yes, yes, we demand this. Please do it. I need a weapon. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Mr. David. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you to Keith, thank you to Steve, thank you everybody for coming out. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.